Hey, has anyone ever told you you look exactly similar to your mom or dad? Yes? We know that it's our mother who gave us birth. But how do we have some features of our father? Let's look at the scientific explanation for it. New organisms are produced by the process of sexual reproduction. This involves the fusion of male and female gametes. Let's start by looking at the male reproductive system. A male reproductive system consists of a pair of testes, a pair of sperm ducts and a penis. The testes produce a million of male gametes which are called sperms. A sperm is just a single cell and it's one of the smallest cells in our body. When viewed under the microscope, it has a tadpole-like appearance consisting of a head, a middle piece and a tail. Now let's look at the female reproductive system. It consists of a pair of ovaries, oviducts or fallopian tubes and a uterus. The female gametes called ova or egg are produced by this small almond-sized gland called the ovaries. Ovum is released from the ovary to the oviduct or fallopian tubes. When the male sperm meets the ovum in the fallopian tube, fertilization takes place. During this process, the nuclei of the sperm and eggs fuse to form a single nucleus. This fertilized egg is called zygote. The zygote divides repeatedly to form a ball of cells which later develops into tissues and organs. This developing structure is called an embryo. This embryo reaches the uterus and gets embedded in the walls of the uterus. The embryo continues to develop in the uterus and it gradually develops into various parts of the body like the head, hand, legs and other organs. This stage of the embryo where we can clearly distinguish the various parts of the body is called fetus. When the development of the fetus is complete, that the mother gives birth to the baby. All of us were formed through this process. Fascinating, isn't it? During fertilization, the fusion of male and female gametes took place, that is, the nucleus of the sperm carrying the genetic material from the father fuses with the nucleus of the egg which contains the genetic material from the mother. And this is how we get some features of both our parents.